one of my favorite parts of skincare is watery skincare early on on my skincare journey i realized when i toned my skin it did something it just did something and it's just spiraled on from there thankfully because of k-beauty i've been able to expand my understanding of toners and really play in the sea of watery skincare so in today's video i'd love to share with you my thoughts on five products that would fall under this category of watery skincare from five popular brands and hopefully you'll find some value in this video so you can do a little bit of happy shopping but before we get into that, if you don't know who I am, I would like to let you know who I am. My name is Ijoma. I'm a beauty lover, a skincare influencer, a pro makeup artist, and a woman of a certain age. And I feel like all these things give me the authority to do what I'm doing on my channel. Let's start with the why. What gives me the audacity to do this video? As I said, baby girl has got experience. I, let me tell you, I love a toner. I cannot tell you how much i love toners i have tried hundreds of them and i'm knee deep in my skincare journey i've been really looking after my skin i would say for close to a decade so i feel like i know what i know secondly as i highlighted before k beauty has become such a rabbit hole when it comes to watery skincare you could possibly try a new product every day of the year and still have more product to try so it has been so much fun constantly discovering stuff i do have a few staples here and there but because i love trying new things it's so hard to pin down a staple but still i do know how to give a good review i also love the way watery skincare can really fit this space of serum you know the skincare industry is really playing with ingredients really playing with formulations toners are not just these stripping astrogens that we used to use they used to make our skin feel super duper dry no they're they're soft and silky and hydrating and moisturizing and some of them are exfoliating do you see where i'm going with this so due to that fact over the last couple of years watery skincare has has been really feeling that serum step for me and i haven't felt like i've missed out on anything my skin thrives from a lot of hydration and if you give me extra ingredients such as good antioxidants such as exfoliants count me in baby count me in now let's talk about the how how do i come to the point that i am at now that is offering a review <laughs> what i do is i isolate a product in my routine i will use it exclusively for two to six weeks depending on the ingredients depending on what's going on around my skincare and then that way i'm able to form an opinion now it's time for those reviews shall we first on the lineup is the snail repairing toner from secret key let's first start with my opinion I think it's rather lovely it's not a particular game changer but once again remember ij is always trying new toners it's very hard to super duper impress me <laughs> but the ingredients definitely make it worth being somebody's staple the ingredients in this toner really support the aging process of the skin they also moisturize the skin they soothe the skin they hydrate the skin they do the things ij loves of course the toner has the snail filtrate which moisturizes soothes and helps boost collagen in the skin we will also find growth factors in this toner which is a polypeptide that heals and also boosts collagen in the skin there's also extracts of aloe and holy oak and both of these are anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial this also feels gorgeous to layer on the skin it has a nice sleepy texture that makes you feel like you're using a watery serum a few layers of this on the skin and it does feel very soothing very hydrating i would definitely give this a solid b plus if anything i did discover that in this particular line the snail repairing line from secret key there is an emulsion and i believe there's an essence as well i'm really interested in trying the emulsion i looked at all the products from this particular line and the ingredient decks are quite similar but the emulsion has a bit of oil and i like to have oil in my skincare so i'm going to be looking into that I give this a solid b plus the ingredients are beautiful it feels gorgeous on the skin i think all skin tops will enjoy this it does get rave reviews online 
and I like the price yes you can find it between 10 to 16 pounds solid B plus solid B plus next up is the industry clear skin 8% AHA essence let's start with my opinions love at first use ah oh. thankfully I had not used any chemical exfoliants for about two months before I started using this so I was rather apprehensive but I was hopeful and I thought you know what you've got a great blank canvas your skin will tell you whether this will do the job or not and it really did the job it's really doing the job it's a gorgeous product oh this this is love at first use this i already feel like i'm going to buy it in backups i love how hydrating it is i love the simplicity of the ingredients i love the pump style bottle so many things are going for this product love now let's talk about some of the ingredients in this gorgeous product there's lactic acid and glycolic acid both of them in four percent hence adding up to the eight percent and because both of these acids are AHAs they're not just exfoliating the skin they act as humectants they draw moisture into the skin they help hold moisture into the skin and I absolutely love that this essence also has the extracts of licorice green tea aloe calendula rosemary adding antioxidants into this and to give it even more bang for your back when it comes to hydration there's some aloe and sodium hyaluronate listen it's simple yet effective it does the job i ugh, i cannot talk enough about how much this impressed me it really did now who do i think it's for i think all skin types may enjoy this the bottle says for normal or dry skin i think we can ignore that i think all skin types will enjoy this i also think this product is perfect for people who like to exfoliate often and there's nothing much to say about those people because they tend to know their skin so i am trusting it to make the right decision but I also think this product is for people who don't need to exfoliate often. They're just looking for that once a week treatment that doesn't irritate the skin. And I feel this product really fills that space well. I've been using it about once a week and on the nights that I use it, I do layer it on my skin and I've been really enjoying the results. I wake up with really gorgeous skin. I feel like it's enough to take me five days without exfoliating <sighs> love highly recommend i will be buying backups <laughs> a solid solid a minus from me let's do the weird and the wonderful this is the one thing brassica italica extracts the marketing campaign that this brand chose to do was absolutely done well if you are on ig in the skincare realm or you follow a lot of skincare influencers you probably have seen this the packaging is spot on i'll even give you a close-up the packaging is spot on it's chic it's tidy it looks like glass but it's not glass it's a plastic bottle very very clever one thing is also following a new trend and that is focusing on one star product within their ingredients and i think it's really clever it's very much so aligned with the trend of minimalism and i really do like it now what are my opinions on it i love antioxidants the oxidants in skincare give your skin a little bit more protection from the damage of the world <laughs> the aid to heal and soothe the skin so i'm always looking for them in my skincare and that's the reason i bought this i'm always willing to try something new i also like the simplicity of this you know as i said it's a trendy idea but i also love that you can use one ingredient and just focus on whatever it is that you need and for me it was antioxidants from the brassica italica can we call it broccoli from now on yes we will call it broccoli from now on <laughs> now for my skin experience i felt like this was a good background player it gave me balanced skin did i wake up and attribute my glowing skin to this no but i just felt like it was helping things behave it was just a nice supporting 
cast that that's the word i like that good supporting cast <laughs> The brand does suggest that you can use their products to mix with other skincare to add the benefits of their product to that product that you're adding to it. Lord, that is a bit of a confusing sentence. Anywho, I've been using this to mix my powder masks. If you've been here long enough, you know I love to mask and powder masks are some of my favorite types of masks. So I have used this to mix a powder mask. It was okay. You know, nothing groundbreaking. It's a very watery consistency. So it didn't change any of my powder mask i was not mad or disappointed at the experience the other ingredients in this are simply to preserve the ingredients to add a touch of emolliency and to also act as humectants i give this a solid mm, a solid b definitely if anything i am very intrigued to try more from the brand in fact i've already bought a little bit more from the brand very clever i like it i definitely recommend it for all skin types and for lovers of skincare if you love trying something new definitely check out one thing oh i forgot to mention this has a smell <laughs> yes it smells like roast vegetables you know it's not offensive to me in fact it amuses me but i think some people will be put off by that so keep that in mind now for what i consider to be the workhorse of the lineup this is the Rovectin clean lotus water calming toner a really good hydrating toner no fuss no mass no huge promises it just hydrates the skin really really well now lotus is the star ingredient in this product it has 40 percent lotus water and it also has extracts from the lotus flower and the lotus root it also has glycerin and seven types of hyaluronic acids there's also a few more extracts within this adding a touch more antioxidants into the products but in all honesty the focus is the lotus flower now as i said in the beginning it's a workhorse of a product it's really easy to use it has a lovely sleepy feeling on the skin it's gorgeous to layer on the skin it's the kind of toner that i found works best if you layer it that's when you really get the hydrating punch into your skin i do feel the drier your skin type the more you could layer this on your skin so you could really get the hydration into the skin for me i found two to three layers was just right for me i do have combination skin normal with a touch of oiliness through my t-zone i really celebrate the simplicity of the toner as i said it's a workhorse it simply hydrates the skin and it does it exceptionally well and I definitely do want to try a little bit more from the brand as this was a beautiful introduction to the brand. I highly recommend this for the sole purpose of hydration. I give it a solid B plus and it loses a little bit of marks because it does say calming water. Now I did introduce this into my skincare when my skin was a little bit unhappy. I was going through a breakout that I, I wasn't quite sure what was going on. I still don't know what was going on. And I didn't feel that this calmed that breakout. I did feel it hydrated my skin, but it didn't calm the breakout. Really good, but by my experience, I found this to be more of a hydrating toner rather than a calming toner b plus this is a series i would love to do over and over again it simply takes time skincare takes time to review but i've had so much fun creating this video and playing with these toners so i know i'm going to do around two three four who knows but one thing i decided is that every roundup that i do i think i need to put in a staple a fave something that i know well that i've used for a long time and this is exactly that this is the aromatica vitalizing rosemary deconcussion toner i love this stuff i've gone through quite a few bottles of this stuff unfortunately this product is not for everyone it's somewhat polarizing because of the ingredients those with sensitive skin types may not like this those with drier skin types may not like this but those with oilier skin types if you're not sensitive if you have combination skin if your pores can be a little bit problematic and they need a little bit of reining in this is really good 
Now, as the name suggests, rosemary is the star ingredient in this toner. The main ingredient is rosemary water. We also have rosemary extract, rosemary oil as well. There's also glycerin, helping the toner not be so drying. There's chamomile extracts, there's aloe extract, and there's aniba wood oil. So in essence, this is a toner that has an astringent effect to the skin. It does pick up oils from the skin. It somewhat refines my pores anytime I use this. I feel like my pores are slightly more well behaved. You do get some antioxidants from the extracts and the glycerin helps hold moisture into your skin. For me, this ticks the box. It suits my skin type and my skin needs. As I said, I've gone through quite a few bottles of this. I will keep repurchasing this. I really, really love this toner. I would give it a solid b plus and it loses marks for all the things i've mentioned not everybody can use this toner it can be a little bit sensitizing the extracts and the rosemary oil the aniba wood oil it could be irritating to some skin types i also don't really like the price <laughs> depending on the sale price and whatever website you will find this on it will range between 18 pounds to 35 pounds Usually around the 25 pound mark is where I tend to get it if I've, I've only been lucky once to get it under 20 pounds But I still love it. I'll still keep buying it You know, I even want to try more from this brand, but it's a touch spendy But we'll see one day one day I might just dig into my skincare piggy bank and go for it But I love the toner. It ticks quite a lot of boxes for me I simply can't recommend it for all skin types simply because of its ingredient deck and that's that those are my thoughts and the reviews on these five fabulous products not everything is for everyone but that's life i hope you find some value in this video so you can do yourself some happy shopping down in the description box below i will make sure to list every product i have mentioned and the websites that you can get them at i tend to do most of my k-beauty shopping on stylevana or yes style if you have any particular product that you'd love me to try or that you love that is watery skincare, be it an essence, a toner, an ampule, let your girl know because I do love me some watery skincare. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Ijama and I'll see you soon.